Hi guys, I'm Andrew Brown. I'm a professor in communications and I teach undergrad, primarily in public relations, also teaching our online master's program and that side I teach theory and also crisis and risk. One of the things I do online with our master's students is I'm also sponsor several projects, which one I have on my desk, that we work with students toward a capstone or thesis. So I'm very involved in all of my stuff, whether it's undergrad, grad, work with individual students, even a regular city class. Everything I do here now is hybridized in some way. Uh, so I use Canvas for all of my classes, and I have several classes that I teach 100% online. As a student, I really enjoy faculty interaction. And one of the things that has been difficult for me as a kind of a non-traditional student, a little more gray in my beard than most students, good professors are good professors no matter where. And good professors figure out how to provide access uh, to their students. So one of the things I've really worked on, I've been frustrated by as a student myself, so I take it back into the classroom, the things I've, I've gotten really creative and I know uh, Bonnie Daniel and her crew and Adam and just the folks here have been really helpful in finding creative ways for us to have things like online office hours. We want to be accessible because that's one of the frustrations to me as an online uh, student myself is not being able to access that faculty with a question or to discuss a project or especially a paper or something that, that's more lengthy. So really work on that and I really enjoy, I have I hold online office hours. I think another thing that's really important to me as a teacher is I'm, a, I'm an experiential learner myself. So I learn by doing and by applied projects. So sometimes that's a challenge to transfer in an online environment. But one of the things that we've experimented with here is how can you use video, uh, short video clips, to, to recreate a team or an applied uh, project environment? So I've been experimenting that, with that some after learning from some other faculty even here in our department. How can we use video to supplement where people are talking to each other either in uh, like a Zoom room or in short video segments? and trying to recreate that group and applied project uh, type situation. So I work really, really diligently on that and I found Zoom is a great tool. And when I was in the pro world, we used Zoom all the time to have, I had people that worked with me all over the US and the world. So it's, I think it's very applicable to the pro world as well. So I would say access to faculty, how do we recreate the fun things that, we, that I like to do in the classroom and I think the third thing, I think this has really been a plus of, of the online push in the last 10 years or so, and especially here at UT Martin in the last four or five years, is, you know, online provides some transparency that maybe was not there before. So, for instance, I know this year all of, all of UT Martin faculty are now being required to post grades on Canvas. Uh, which was not a thing of the past and sometimes you kind of had a a hidden grade and you didn't know where you stood so I think that's a great thing uh, that's one of the reasons I've hybridized all my classes I've used that now for a couple of years so try to be an early adopter on that so I guess to summarize providing faculty access is important to me two is recreating some of the interactive and applied learning uh, using creative digital tools to do that. And the third thing is I think transparency is really important.